The CDC reports that 10 to 20 percent of Utah children experience a mental health challenge every year. Universe Live reporter Sydney Merrill is in Provo. Sydney, what challenges do children face when getting the help they need? According to the CDC, about 90,000 children in the state of Utah will experience a significant mental, behavioral, or emotional challenge in any given year. The Children's Center of Utah reported that 58% of kids that receive clinical diagnoses do not go on to receive follow-up treatment or counseling. This is like soft talk. Calista Perrazzo is a mother of three, and they're learning how to balance daily life with their mental illnesses. We don't have to feel guilty and sh ashamed because of the way that we think. <laughs> Brazo says her and her kids' ADHD is like their superpower. I have ADHD, so I can like focus on more things than once. Even though this has brought their family closer together, it hasn't been easy. Perrazzo says it's a fight to get the care she and her kids need. No one else cares like I do. No one else will fight for my kid like I do. So if I give up, there's no one for them. Insaye, your is speaking. Melissa Blumel is a co-owner of Insaye Child and Family Therapy. Her practice is focused on helping the entire family through their challenges. Kids are inherently built with a capacity to heal and to play and play their way through healing. Blumel says there are many reasons why kids go without mental health care in Utah. There's a lack of therapists, families can't afford care, they don't know how to navigate insurance or feel like if they get help, it means they've failed. Instead of asking, you know, why is this happening to this child or family, it's asking yourself, what can I do to help? There are other resources, such as openpath.org, a website that connects people with local therapists who are willing to reduce their rates, graduate students and interns offer discounted rates, and government programs like the Safe Utah app. It's not just the kid who needs to learn. The family has to help. Lomel says that there's no room for shame in anyone's mental health journey, and she recommends that parents talk to their children because children and infants experience mental health issues just as parents do. I'm Sydney Merrill, reporting for Universe Live in Provo. Thanks, Sydney.